hi i had a problem with my camera so this video i'm just going to record like this and in this one i want to share with you a very cool feature about cisco prime now if you don't know cisco prime is a network monitoring and measurement solution from cisco that essentially allows you to manage different types of network devices such as uh, routers, uh, Cisco switches, uh, wireless LAN controllers, uh, even firewalls. And I did a video some time ago, and if you don't know or want to get started with Cisco Prime, I strongly recommend you to watch that video. Now, in this video, we're going to see how to upgrade multiple Cisco switches just by using Cisco Prime. Now, before we dive into this, let's just first understand how do we normally upgrade uh, the network devices. And we're just going to grab a Cisco switch for this example. Okay, so normally we log into the switch, right? We check the switch version, probably version 15 something. And then we're going to cisco.com, right? to download the latest image probably it is a version 16 17 or whatever okay version 16 then we download these to our pc okay and then we have to send this file to the switch okay and once we send the file to the switch the ios image then we have to configure the switch to set this new file this new image to be the new software and then reboot the switch okay and doing this process might take you around 30 40 minutes we just say one hour okay to do this process to upgrade your switch now if you take let's suppose one hour per switch okay what if you have uh two switches Okay, so this will take you two hours, right? Now, what about five switches, 10 switches, uh, 20 switches? So it will take you more time. Now, Cisco Prime makes this process uh, consume less of your time, less of the network admin time, because we can create like a database of the images that we need for our switches and just take this process directly from Cisco Prime to the switch. Meaning, uh, in the first or initial phase, okay, I'm just going to delete all of these. We would go through this same process, right? We have to check the latest or the running version on the switch. Then we would go to Cisco.com if we want. I'm going to show you there is another option as well we will download the latest version to cisco prime and then we would send these to the switch but we wouldn't have to configure directly the switch we would manage all of these directly on cisco prime and if we want to upgrade another switch oh that's bad if we want to upgrade another switch guess what we don't have to go through this process again because that image that software uh, would already be on Cisco Prime and all we have to do is to upgrade this new switch okay or the other switch okay and we can do this process like to upgrade both switch at the same time or we can do this uh, sequentially okay now I only have one switch for this video just for the sake of time but you'll be able to replicate this uh, even with uh routers or virtual wireless line controllers or firewalls okay now we're going to use one of the switches that i have here and it is uh switch one so this is a catalyst switch okay this switch is running the software version 1502 se12 and the model is 3750x 2040s so we're going to download the latest version for this model okay so let's go to cisco website okay so here we're going to download 
and we're going to start typing the model 3750 x 2040s so that should be let's see 3724 so it's this one catalyst 37 and so let's go to ios software and the latest release is 15.2 e 4 e 10 okay so we're going to download this 137e universal uh, image okay downloaded the image so now we're going to import that image into cisco prime and to do that we go to uh, inventory uh, software images and here we're going to add or import the image now we're going to select the image source to be from a file okay collect and we're going to select the file and I have these on my desktop. It should be on my desktop. Cisco Catalyst. Okay, just going to select the image and then just schedule import. And I want to import now. And we're going to submit this. Okay, and we can take a look and see uh, how the process. So it's completed, which means that the image was imported into Cisco Prime. Okay, the image was imported successfully. So now let's go back to inventory and software images. And now let's send or distribute the software to the switch. And we're going to select the file and device selection. Let's select the switch. Uh, switch and hubs. So that's the only one. I'm going to select this switch, switch one, and our image details verification. Okay, so it is okay. So now image deployment. So we're going to enable a couple of box here. So we want to uh, back up the running image. Okay, so that if something fails or goes wrong during the upgrade process. Uh, I'll have the running image in Cisco Prime. I also want to enable the insert boot command so that the switch is rebooted after the uh, the upload of this new image to the device is completed. So I want this to be sequential just in case I had multiple uh, devices. Now smart flash delete before distribution. So let's take a look. Uh, will not delete running image VLAN that private uh, from flash. Uh, so I want it to leave only if it doesn't have enough space on the switch and erase running. This option will be enabled only if you choose smart flash. Like this, we will erase the running image on the device. Uh, yes, we can erase the running image on the device after the reboot is completed. Okay, so now let's schedule the distribution. I want it to be. Uh, executed now so let's submit this and it looks like it didn't go yeah no it's right so we can uh take a look and see uh the process uh if i click here in progress i'll get some information so right now is backing up the running uh image on the switch so this will be copied to cisco prime and once it completes it will start uh, uploading the new image into the switch and we can see some message here on the console so if i type dear so at this moment i only have this image so that's the current running image uh 152 uh, se12 now if i run this command again i should see that the new image uh was copied into the switch already if I close this and refresh this, and if I want to get more information, uh, I see that it failed to send the image using the SCP because I didn't enable SCP. And so now it's trying to upgrade or to send a file using FTP. Okay, so if we take a look back at the switch, so we should have two files, two image. Now, if I run the command show boot, uh, it says that the path list still saying this is the running image, but then after the reboot will be uh, the new image. Okay, so let's refresh this, see if it is already completed. 
so it's still in progress so let's wait a couple of more seconds okay and the switch now is going to reboot okay and the switch is back so let me refresh this and it says success so the image was uploaded successfully the device did reboot and now we have a new image in the inventory so let's confirm this so if we run show version we should see that now we are running the version 15.24 e10 now imagine if you were to upgrade multiple devices at the same time by using cisco prime this process it's much easier and takes you less time okay this is what i want to share with you and if you took value from this video don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button and i'll see you on the next one